Hey my baddies, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see in the topic, guys, I am starting my new lifestyle um, changes. So today we are going grocery shopping for keto friendly items. That means we're looking for low carb or no carb, no sugar items to start this lifestyle change. As you guys know, I have PCOS polycystic ovarian syndrome it causes obesity when you it causes insulin resistant um it causes infertility in women and things like that so i have to change my eating ways and get rid of the carbs and the sugars and y'all know how much i love bread and i love my sandwiches but i'm going to be looking for alternatives for bread um so i can make sandwiches and of course we're all not perfect i'm pretty sure i'm gonna indulge in non keto friendly things from here from time to time that's why i'm calling this a lifestyle change and not a diet so before we get into the video i want you guys to go ahead and subscribe to my channel there's no need to wait if you haven't subscribed and if you have got subscribed guys i truly appreciate you guys you know we growing and um i just got so much to talk about um because it's just been a lot going on in the social media world. And I'm excited to be a part of everything. Um, but before we get into the video, like it, like it, like it. Don't forget to like it, like it, y'all. Like and share this video with everybody, okay? So we're going to get into it. The fir My first stop is most likely going to be Walmart. I, uh, I know Publix has a lot of buy one, get one free stuff going on. Um, and they do have some keto stuff options there i do not like walmart's produce so i'm gonna do um my grocery shopping in walmart um produce shopping and buy one get one freeze in Publix, and the meat store for my meats possibly the meat store like i haven't been trusting meat stores lately guys like they just been weird with their meat but we're gonna get on into it guys i'll see you guys All at right, so first thing is first I'm going to grab some frozen vegetables and stock up on all the different varieties that they have. So as you guys can see, we got mixed vegetables, corn. Corn is not keto friendly because it has sweetening in it. But green, anything green is good and cauliflower is good. And I think I want to do this um frozen onion bell pepper blend y'all know i cook a lot with that so i'm gonna try that out so i'm gonna grab up um a couple of bags of vegetables and then right on this side is the bread side guys my worst nightmare but we're gonna look through and see can we find keto friendly bread options as well okay oops let me flip over okay guys so i want to try these out as my pasta substitutes they got veggie spirals squash and zucchini spirals as well and then i want to try these as a french fry substitute it's cauliflower with bacon ranch flavored french fries and then i also see these cauliflower fried onion rings as well so i'm going to try these too so all of this stuff i will be um cooking in my air fryer to make it a healthier option but these are some great side options and then I found the rice cauliflower. This you're gonna live by, cause I make rice with a lot of my dishes. So I'm gonna grab two of the rice cauliflower. This is a good substitute for rice. I've tried it before, so it actually really works. If you put a good gravy or a good sauce over that cauliflower rice, then you'll be good to go. You wouldn't even be t could tell that you're not eating actual rice. So I'm excited about these options. All right, guys, so I had noticed these, and I might try them out, but then again, I did buy these egg wraps to make my own breakfast sandwiches with, but here's another four, well, this actually has four carbs, breakfast sandwiches, so this will be a great option for uh, keto, and then also, it was over here, some of um, the fat bombs, these are um, good dessert options, for keto because like look it only has three carbs and um uh, let's see about the sugars it has no sugars in it because once you subtract that one dietary fiber sugar so no sugars three carbs um chocolate cheesecake dessert snacks so this will be a great option 
for a, a um something sweet on keto so i'm gonna actually grab a box and i never grab the one that's on top i'm just weird like that i'm gonna go ahead and grab a box because i want to try these out for when i have my sweet tooth craving um these breads are not keto friendly breads they're gluten-free breads um and these are cali cauliflower sandwich thins so this is a bread alternative here, guys, and I think I'm gonna grab one because I do wanna try any kind of bread option that I can find. These look pretty cool that I can try. All right, so next we're gonna move on over to the bread section to see if we can find any keto-friendly options there. All right, guys, so I do see a couple of options over here. I'm looking at these Extremely Wellness Fiber Wraps. They're stating here that they're keto-friendly. This one is the wheat and this is the spinach, the high fiber and the spinach. So when you turn over the back here and you see how it states it's 24 grams of carbs on here, you're gonna actually subtract 17 dietary fiber grams from the um, total carbohydrates and that's what the true carb count is. Um, now I know they used to have um this brand missions used to have the um low carb um wraps that said like three carbs on it or whatever but i only see this one which is says carb balance on it and so yeah out of the 18 grams you would subtract the 15 and that would leave you with three carbs so this will be a three carb um yeah and it does say it here so i missed it so it's three net carbs. I think I'm gonna go with this one as a bread option, substitute option for me. Cause um, like I said, y'all know I love me some bread. And I feel like that's gonna be the closest thing I get. I do kind of like, I see more. This one says five net carbs. And this is the Spanish brand. So they came out with a carb a carb counter one as well. That's pretty cool. Y'all know the Spanish brand um is the ones right here you would normally see so they came out with a low carb brand as well that's pretty cool oh uh, let's see this one is six net carbs from flat out and i want to get another one but i think i'm gonna just go with one pack at a time because i don't want anything to go bad this one okay yeah there's four grams there's is five grams i calculated out this one to be that was four and then the whole wheat is three so i'm gonna go with the three because that's the lowest all right one. so then you guys you know you have your everyday sauces and things and condiments that you need so we're going to go through and look at like I, I love crystal's hot sauce crystal's hot sauce has zero carbs so that's not an issue at all i needed some of that and then we are able to eat chicken wings so let's take a look at these sauces and i'm pretty sure they're all no carbs most of them are no carbs now this one would definitely have carbs in it because it has sweetener in it see carbs and sugar so you can't get anything like that but you can definitely get the wing sauce as well and then yeah see hooter sauce has one carb in it you definitely want to look and see i'm gonna grab the Frank's Red Hot is because that's what I use to make my wings. And then I'll be able to enjoy them still. Now, barbecue sauces are all going to have sugars in them. And then they have certain brands that don't have sugar. And that would be like this one. The G. Hughes brand. So, this is a marinade. And then they have like wing sauces. And then wing, um, Thai chili wing sauce. That looks good actually so it's sugar free it's gluten free it has one carb so this will be a great uh, wing sauce and then the barbecue the barbecue has also no sugars and one carb so this would be a great option for barbecue sauce as well um i do like to make barbecue but i don't use it a lot so i don't know if i'm gonna grab one of those but i did want to let y'all know there is 
barbecue sauce option. All right, so we all love ketchup for our fries. We all love Chick-fil-A sauce, and I just ran out. Thank God I did because I don't need this anymore. Seven carbs and seven sugars. I'm not gonna buy another one. But we all love dipping sauces for our french fries and chicken or whatever. I'm not eating french fries anymore, guys, but I do have the cauliflower fries. So, D G Hugh, excuse me, also offers sugar-free dipping sauces that have, and sugar-free ketchup that you can have on your keto diet. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I don't use ketchup a lot, but I do. But I'm not gonna buy this because I don't use ketchup enough to, to really, you know, buy that. But I am interested in looking into these sauces. Now, the Polynesian, as you guys know, is popular with Chick-fil-A. This has two carbs. And then this famous clucking sauce is giving me Chick-fil-A sauce vibes. And it has one card per serving. So one serving is two ta two tablespoons, which is pretty good because you only use about a two tablespoons per dipping sauce anyways. Then they have a honey mustard sugar-free and a yum yum sauce that's sugar-free. So I think I wanna try the famous, famous clucking sauce. One card per serving. And this is what I'll use to dip my um, fries and onions with all right on to the next also guys if you guys weren't aware fun fact because you guys know i love mayonnaise mayonnaise has no carbs and no sugars in it so mayonnaise is something that i love and i won't have to sacrifice on keto so i'm so excited about that let's see is these the small ones yeah this doesn't make sense so yeah, I just want to let you guys know mayo is keto friendly. All right, so next is gonna be salad dressings. Now that I'm gonna be doing keto, I am definitely gonna be eating salads, y'all. And um, for me, my salads, I love me a Caesar salad or a Caesar dressing. So let's take a look. Caesar has two net carbs and one gram of sugar in Kraft brand, I would still be able to use that. But let's take a look around and see if there's any other brands that um, maybe possibly they don't have any carbs in it. I'm trying to look. Here's a Creamy Caesar by Wishbone. Let's take a look. Two net carbs. So it looks like um, Caesar is gonna have some type of net carb in it. And then over here, I'm gonna take a look at the Walmart brand. And their net carb is two as well. So Caesar, Caesar dressing is going to have two carbs in it, which is not really, really bad. When you're on keto, you can have up to like 30 carbs a day. So if you balance it out well enough, you'll be fine. Now I did wanna show you that um, G Hughes is over here again, showing out with the sugar-free vinaigrettes and salad dressings, bomb. That's what's up. And then there's also like healthy choice um, type dressings as well. But yeah, I just took me a Caesar dressing because I know I'm gonna be buying stuff to make salads. And then also, um, these real bacon pieces are cool for salads. I like to cook my own, but these have no, and you wanna get the real bacon. You don't wanna get the imitation bacon like this. It's, you know, we're not gonna do that. They See, the imitation has two carbs in it, and then the real has none. So yeah, do not go with the fake stuff, guys. Go with the real deal. And then croutons is definitely a no-no. Definitely a no-no. Let me show you guys why. They have, this one has four carbs. That's actually, that's actually um, impressive. I thought it was gonna be a lot more than that. So let me just take a look at this. This could be a good substitute for a crouton. And they're called Parmesan crisps. So they're gonna have no carbs and no sugars on it. That's great for for your salads when you want that crouton crunch but not the carb you'll go with the parmesan chips i'm gonna grab me a bag because i definitely am a crouton girl i like my croutons in my salad so we're gonna grab a bag of that i'm just looking at more real bacon pieces and just trying to decide if i want to cook 
real bacon every day or do I want to have just some bacon pieces some bacon pieces on the side these look really good to put in my salads and not have to worry about you know so yeah I think I'm gonna just yeah I think I'm gonna grab a, a, a bag of real bacon pieces for my salads all right guys so I was looking through the spaghetti sauces to see if I can find a low carb spaghetti sauce and it looks like all of the sauces here at least here they're showing at least eight six to eight carbs um, per serving so I even looked at Simply Ragu and Simply Ragu still had 10 carbs take away to eight carbs and six sugars so that is not really keto friendly none of these sauces are really keto friendly so we're gonna um see if we can figure out a recipe to make our own sauce keto friendly all right guys so we're gonna grab some canned chicken um canned chicken is great for like quick simple um wraps and things like that and we all know meat has no carbs no sugar so we're good with that i'm gonna grab me um probably just grab me you know two cans i don't know which brand i want i go for the cheaper stuff y'all because i'm cheap but they even got turkey in a can that's pretty cool but they got pulled pork in a can roast beef in a can that's different i haven't seen that before but we're gonna definitely do i'm gonna do this two pack of canned chicken so like right, so drink options can always be challenging when it comes to keto they do have gatorades that are zero sugars so these will be okay let me just show you no sugars no carbs so the zero anything with zero on it is okay to drink i know they say that a lot of the zero um sugar sodas are still not good for you but hey guys listen this is a lazy keto type lifestyle for me i'm still going to partake in things obviously none of these juices or any of these things i would be able to eat i mean drink excuse me none of these snacks will be anything that i would be able to eat not that i want them either like the older i got the less snacks i liked i guess but these would be something that you could snack on guys because this is cheese that's all it is it's cheese these have one carb zero sugars so that is a chip option like if you wanted chips you could definitely have those and then of course you guys know with chips you can have the pork skins the pork rinds because that is meat into a chip form any of these snacks things here is a no even though they have like gluten-free stuff it's still not keto friendly so we're gonna get up well here look guys i see some sugar-free cookies even oh i thought that was pillsbury but i see some sugar-free these are my favorite type of cookies let's take a look okay i'm seeing 17 carbs no just because it says no sugars guys make sure you guys check the carb count we gotta get up out of this aisle because this aisle is dangerous okay guys so on keto when it comes to seasonings you pretty much can use a lot of anything i want to try this they got ginger paste i want to try garlic paste let me see what this ginger paste says zero carbs zero sugars stir and rub seasoning oh i want to try this y'all i want the garlic one too but i don't see it and then they got italian herbs puree cilantro puree these look pretty cool but i actually um i'm gonna grab the ginger one because i do want to um utilize this in my diet or lifestyle change but guys i want to get some pink himalayan salt because that has been known to be very good for you and i'm just looking to see which one would be the best one to get i found it ground it up fine i think i'm gonna get that one because it's like the same price of that one now so i think i'm gonna grab this one and it'll last a lot longer and then i also wanted to get the everything but the um bagel seasoning i've been seeing a lot of people utilize that on keto as well so i thought i just seen it i thought i just seen it oh it's right here 
everything but the bagel season. Next to the cinnamon toast crunch dust that I'm so mad that my nieces and nephew used all. There's only four grams of sugar in it, but I'm not gonna buy it for my iced coffees. I might put just some ground cinnamon instead because um we're not doing sugar. All right, so everything but the bagel is perfect. We're gonna grab that. So we're in the uh, bacon aisle. I'm getting ready to grab some sativa sugar. It's a sweetener substitute. And then I noticed these um, keto friendly three net carb and four net carb, four net carb cake and three net carb brownie mix. Let's take a look guys and see how true it is. So ingredients, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 13. It says three net carbs, but this box is reading 14 carbs. I don't trust it, y'all. Sounds too good to be true. I don't trust it. So I'm going to leave that there. And then we're gonna go over here to where the sweeteners are. This is a great substitute for sugar, the monk fruit. It's a great sweetener. See, it states zero calorie, keto friendly. Look on the back, eight carbs, eight grams of sugar, alcohol. I don't know what that is. It doesn't look too promising to me, guys. I don't like seeing carbs on my stuff because it just doesn't seem promising. Now, let's take a look at this sativa sweetener here. And it'll tell you, so a three-fourth teaspoon of this sweetener gives you two teaspoons of regular sugar or equivalents to that. Let's see. Let's look at the facts. Three carbs, one gram of sugar. So this would be a good substitute for your sugar if you guys need sugar for like coffee in the morning. I do iced coffees and we're getting over there because they have some um, zero carbs and calorie type stuff So for iced coffee. So we're going to be doing that. I'm not sure. I'm not sold on the sativa if I want to get it yet. So let me take a look and see if I have something else. Now these are the little individual packets of sativa. And it has the same calorie or carb and sugar counts on it. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see what this is. This is another Simply Sweet Sweetener. See, I like this one better because it says no carbs on it. And it's organic. And it's made from a sativa leaf. It's the liquid from the leaf. Let's try that out. We're going to try this out and see how this sweetener works. Okay, guys. So, an important thing for keto lifestyle living is cooking your food in good fats. It's a high-fat content diet, low-carb. But you want to have good fats when you're cooking with keto. So, good fats um, would be stuff like this you guys see here. Flaxseed. Flaxseed oils. Pumpkin seed oils avocado oils coconut oils almond oils um this is a liquid coconut oil i haven't seen this before now um shopping for keto stuff and healthy living is going to be more expensive than you know the stuff that's not good for us that we like so um i'm kind of stuck on what i want to get i usually get me some coconut oil to cook in I'm just not sold on anything yet that I see here. I usually get this um, brand here though. This coconut oil, you can also use this on your body. See, you can use it on your body with bacon, everything. It's really, really good. Um, I'm thinking I wanna try, cause I, I do coconut oil pretty often. I don't know if I wanna try olive oil, cause the olive oil is good as well. I think I'm going to go with an olive oil and then, and I will incorporate a coconut oil in the diet later on. So, yeah, we're going to go with, we're going to go with this one. We're just going to go with this one for now. 
So I changed it. I'm gonna get this one because it's actually cooking olive oil. So I changed it to this one, guys. Okay, so I picked me up a bag of these pork skins because these are the absolute only chips you can eat on keto, y'all. So I don't know if y'all seen that right, but I grabbed these as chips. So here we are at the creamers and stuff for the iced coffees. They have so many flavors, guys, and I'm just so sad because I will not be able to use these anymore. The last one I had was Snickers flavor, but look, I'll just show you guys. They got cinnamon, um, Hershey's, Twinkies. I see others over here with other flavors. Um, and they just come with so much. So, fortunately, the only thing I can use is a sugar-free creamer and i don't see it over here but i did see it over here in this thing because over here they have a lot of different flavors too oh i found one zero sugars willy wonka in the chocolate factory let's take a look i might can get this one carb zero sugars and it's a fudgy caramel I'm definitely grabbing this because it's sugar free and I need these for my iced coffee videos. They're doing pretty well over on, on TikTok. So the Willy, Willy Wonka Fudgy Caramel is sugar free. And then there was another sugar free option I see, but it was over here in the Walmart brand and it was the French Vanilla french vanilla creamer now i'm going to grab this as well it, only, it has two carbs in it but that's still keto compliant i'm going to grab this one as well because i do make foam with my creamer so i'll be making my foam out of this one so i'm excited now we're going to go over here and get to the actual cut before i do have to get me a a sugar-free whipped cream and i know they sell them it's just this says non-dairy, but it's, it's not saying sugar-free. One carb and one sugar, which isn't bad. I could probably still use that, but I do see this one being sugar-free. So I'll just grab this brand. We can take the off-brand sometimes. We don't always got to get name brand. All right, and now over to the coffee. I, my personal favorite is the blonde rose from starbucks i had the um the dunkin donut original and it's just too strong and this is also unsweetened so let's take a look two carbs keto compliant and i like this one so i'm gonna get this one the blonde rose it's very mild these come made already but i, I like to make my own for my fellow followers. I love AT. All right, so I'm gonna grab me a case of water and we're gonna grab some cheeses and lunch meats and then we'll be out of here. I just get one of those to try. Guys, Walmart has stepped it up. They sell these flavored waters in 12 packs. I think that is pretty freaking dope. They, send them, they sell them in 12 packs as well. See down here at the bottom? These are all, and they actually have a flavor to them. Unlike like LaCroix and Bubbly, they are gross. They have no flavor to them at all. So I'm looking to see which other ones. Now check this out, they got a cotton candy flavored water. I don't think I wanna try that, but I will try the white grape. And I like the apple, so I'm gonna just get these three. And then I am going to grab me some Coke Zero, guys. Because every now and then, I do need a uh, soda fix. My battery finna die. All right, guys. My battery's dying. I got to hurry up. But I was today year old when I found out that Coca-Cola makes coffee. So if you guys tried this, let me know down in the comments if you guys tried Coca-Cola coffee before. And I wanted to get a 12-pack of Coke. They only have the original in Zero. I want cherry, so I'm gonna grab these. Coca-Cola Zero Cherry, just a little bit, cause I, I don't drink a lot of soda anyways. I just be wanting my little soda fix here and there, guys. So um, I'm gonna go 
back down the little cold food aisles where they have um wait guys zero sugar ginger ale i want one i'll just get the big one i'll just get the big one all right so we're gonna go back down those aisles pick up like lunch meat and we're gonna be done in the cheese aisle guys they have another substitute for bread which is cheese wraps so basically you can heat these up um fold them make wraps out of them they're one carb zero sugars these would be definitely be keto friendly um i'm not gonna try the cheese wraps this grocery haul maybe the next one i'm just gonna pick up some shredded cheese on keto you can pretty much eat any cheese you want to eat any lunch meat you want to eat all of that is compliant um i'm gonna grab cheese because i will be making like wraps and salads and stuff so you want to incorporate your cheese in there i know some people do like dairy free and stuff because they're lactose or whatever or have their issues with dairy i'm not i'm already cutting out carbs and sugar so i'm not cutting out dairy too like no I'm not doing it so i'm just looking for okay like a just a fiesta blend that i can use on everything or a kobe jack i'm gonna do a kobe jack blend i can use it on everything and then i'm just gonna grab some lunch meat and some pepperonis pepperonis are a great snack for keto i don't want this big bag my mom lives by pepperoni she always snacking on it but uh, yeah so they even have they even have turkey pepperoni for the people that don't eat pork as you guys know i eat pork again I used to not eat it for a couple of years due to me dating someone who um, does not eat pork, but I eat it now. So I'm going to um, grab me a bag of turkey meat because I do have a lot of pork um, items already. So I'm going to just grab some turkey meat to make turkey sandwiches with. And this will this will work. This will work right here. All right, guys. It looks like I'm going to be um, ending my little haul here. I have some stuff at home already. I'm good to go. I don't really need anything else. I do need produce, guys. I'm getting my fresh produce from Publix. That will be another video. I'll do a produce video with you guys in a few days. Also, if you guys are turkey bacon eaters, please, please try this. Maple Turkey Bacon by Godshaw's. Try this brand, guys. This is so good when i was um not eating pork for a few years i was eating this type this brand of turkey bacon it's gluten free um has less fat it's thicker cut and it actually gives you a better replica of real uh pork bacon so try that out guys if you guys eat turkey bacon only all right so i do have meat and stuff from out of the meat store in my refrigerator i don't I did want to get some, um, but I got canned chicken, so I guess that'll work. I was going to get some um, frozen chicken strips or frozen chicken breasts to throw in wraps and salads. But I think I'll be all right. All right, so the next video, guys, let me turn this camera around for you. Okay. So my next video for you guys will be my produce shopping haul at Publix. I'm not going to cram all of that into this video. I'll make that a separate video that gives you guys more content to watch as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and check out with these things here. I hope I was able to um, educate and help you guys on some keto options. I really appreciate you guys supporting and being my backbone during this journey. I'm going to, I'm going to need it. <laughs> Coming from a girl who loves sandwiches and, and, and bread, I'm going to need it. So thank you guys for uh, tuning in. This was a great shopping experience with you guys. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, there is no need to wait. Go ahead and subscribe and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to like it, like it, like it. Don't forget to like it, like it, y'all. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Don't forget to share with everybody. Bye.